we have read them. But to pray the Lord has blessed us. The Lord is caring for us. And we're going to care for us. We're going to bless us more and more in the name of Jesus. We will not suffer. See, I will not suffer. I will enjoy my life. I will inherit great tea and the service of the heart in the name of Jesus. This morning, I want to speak on the ways of effective prayers. Ways of effective prayer. A prayer is a very simple task, but somewhat difficult for many. Prayer is a very simple task, but very difficult for many. And it's the strongest weapon known to mankind. The strongest weapon that used to destroy so many opposite, so many enemies and destroy, destroy mountains, can destroy obstacles, can make way for us to the top. The stronger weapon, stronger than God, stronger than bombs, stronger than missile. Whatever is seen, is not as powerful as what is unseen. Because prayer is not a physical weapon, it's a spiritual weapon. It's very, very strong. Hallelujah. Because it is God that answers that prayer. And God is very powerful. It is God that commands man to be prayer. Jesus Christ said, Men ought to pray without ceasing. Men ought to pray without ceasing. When we pray, does God answer all our prayers? Is it all our prayers that come to pass? Is it all our prayers that are effective? Hallelujah. God hears all prayers. But does he answer all prayers? Prayer that is not done according to the status of God will not be answered. Prayer that is not done in faith will not be answered. Prayer that is not done in spirit will be very weak to be effective. Hallelujah. So there are so many wrong ways in which we pray. We pray, number one, of wrong ways in which we pray. Number one is we pray in flesh. We pray in flesh. Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, chapter 10, verse 4. 2 Corinthians 10, 4. He said, For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For pulling down stronghold. <coughs> Hallelujah. 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 So prayer must be done in the spirit because we are not fighting flesh. We are not fighting physical warfare. We are fighting spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. You see, our warfare are not kind of almighty because pulling down the stronghold, the witches, the wizard. The evil spirits, we can't see them when they are operating. Many of them operate in the night. Many of them operate in the day. Many of them operate when there is moon. Many of them operate when there is sun. They use all those power to afflict people. So you, they use that power to wreck platforms on people. You cannot see compass in the hand of witches. You cannot see God in their hands. But they do it spiritually. They do it in spirit. They, they, affect, they, 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 they affect their enemies. They feed their enemies in the dream when they, when they are sleeping. Or when they, when they don't do anything, they attack. So when we pray in flesh, our prayer will not be strong enough. Our prayer is so weak because the enemy we are fighting against is in the spirit. 
all the battle is done in the spiritual realm. All the battle is done in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. They do incantation to the to the ear. They put some 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 medicine. Hallelujah. In the ear. And uh, they call the name of people. At a very long distant area, they call the name of some people, you know, at the altar of evil. And whatever they say in that altar will be affecting such individual. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. So we must not pray in flesh. We must pray in spirit. We must always put ourselves inside the spirit of God if we want our prayer to be effective. Number two, how we pray and means is we don't know our enemies. We don't know our enemies. Our enemy is hidden. Some of the friends that are close to us are actually our enemies, but we don't know. We romance with them, we eat with them, we sleep with them, we associate with them, and we don't know that they are, they are the strongest enemy that we have. And there is no way we can overcome them if you don't know if the secret is not linked. If you don't know the secret of your enemy, it is very difficult for you to overcome. You may not be able to overcome that enemy because you will be protecting your enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we don't know our enemy. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, 6 12, he said, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but agents, rulers, Again, the authorities, again, the powers of this world, of, of God of darkness, is disparities and power that are our enemy. Mr. B, Mr. A, Mr. C is not your enemy. It is the evil spirit, it is the power of darkness, it is the people that have authority of the world that is our enemies. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, your, your enemy is always not known to you. Those who that abuse you, those who that are mocking you, they are not really your enemies. They are not your enemies. Your enemies are hidden. Your enemies are wicked spirits that want to destroy you. The other you know, the better you be able to pray. We will resist them. I will say, resist the devil, and they shall flee from you. The devil is going at the bars, running like a lion, seeking who to devour, running about, going all about, seeking how we will destroy you. We will not destroy you in the name of Jesus. I say, that will not destroy you in the name of Jesus. Number three, wrong use of strange names in prayer. When we pray and means, one of the ways is to use the wrong names when we are praying. Some people use the name of their pastors, the dead people, the, the, the people that have died. They use those names. They even call them in prayers. But that is not how Jesus taught us to pray. In the book of John chapter 14, verse 13. John 14, 13. And do whatever you ask in my name. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Father will be glorified in the Son. That is John 14, 13. John 16, 23. John 16, 23, whatever you ask the Father, He will give you in my name. That is Jesus Christ. It is the only name of Jesus Christ we can use to pray. 
If you use any other name, you are not going to get true to God. If you want to call somebody, if you miss the digits from the number of that phone, you are not going to get across to the person you want to speak with. Another person, wrong person will be in phone and they will tell you it's the wrong number. So when you pray to God too, you are not praying in the name of Jesus, you will get through to strangers. You will get through to the devil. Hallelujah. You are not going to get through to God. Some people use the angel's name. They use the angel's name to pray. It is wrong. Angels did not die for us. So only Jesus went and died and arose. Still alive. And say whatever we ask in his name, he will give us. It is the name of Jesus Christ that can, we can use to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot use the name of Mary. We cannot use the name of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to pray. It is not done. We cannot use the name of Moses to pray. We cannot use the name of any angel. Who are angels? They don't have the power to go. Jesus Christ is the way. The truth and the life is the way to God. It's the only name we can call that can get us to God. And then when we call the name of God, God will answer our prayers. Praise the Lord. Let's start using the name of Jesus Christ in all our prayers. We are going to get our resource when we pray. God will go to answer us in the name of Jesus. Number four, the wrong prayer points. We use wrong prayer points to pray because of lack of Holy Spirit in us. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, 26, that we say we do not know what we should pray for. Whenever it is necessary. For the Spirit prays in our place with glory which is unspoken. We do not know what we should pray for. Whenever it is necessary. For the Spirit prays in our place with glory which is unspoken. Hallelujah. Many times we pray. When we pray in flesh, means we don't get good prayer points to pray about because we focus on ourselves. We focus on enemies. Most of the prayer we pray on enemies for enemy to die. Hallelujah. And if enemies are die, many people will be on the surface of the heart today. Because as you are sitting down, as you are hearing me wherever you are now, you are an enemy to some people. If your prayer are answered over you, you will not be alive today. Amen. Amen. So all the prayers of death, destruction, God's doesn't answer most of those prayers. God doesn't answer most of those prayers. It is not until your enemy dies that you can succeed in life. So it's not when all your enemies that you can make it in life. The psalmist said, you prepare a table before me, my cup and my cup when I go back in the presence of my enemies. God bless me in the presence of his enemy. The enemy witness is greatness. The enemy witness is success. The enemy witness is breakthrough. Your enemy will witness your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. That makes it very sweet, that makes it very interesting. When your enemy see your progress, when they see your breakthrough, when they see your success, they will be disappointed. Hallelujah. And then God will always glorify you, glorify his name in your life in the name of Jesus. Let us be actually spirit to be praying for us. Let us be asking Holy Spirit to give us prayer points. Hallelujah. Give us prayer points. In the book of 2 uh, Samuel, 
chapter 15, verse 31. When I to fail, when he joined the enemy of David, and David was told, I to fail and join your enemy. David was devastated. He didn't know what to do. And I asked to pray a prayer. I said, David said, O oh Lord, I pray, turn the cancer of Aitofel into foolishness. And David said, O oh Lord, I pray, turn the cancer of Aitofel into foolishness. That is a simple prayer that Holy Spirit gave to David to pray. And that was a prayer that turned everything around, that made Aitofel to go and commit suicide. He didn't pray for his destruction. He didn't pray for him to, to die. He didn't get that prayer warning. He just said a simple prayer. Let the counsel of Aitofel turn to foolishness. And people gather against him until he committed suicide. Hallelujah. The prayer point may be simple. The prayer point may be very simple. Amen. Just say that word and that be done. When it's done in the spirit. Hallelujah. When it's done in the spirit. There's a man that I went to the United Kingdom. He was married. But the wife is in the America. And when he calls the wife, the wife will not pay his calls. Whenever he pays his call, the woman will be <coughs> abusing and the tormenting the man. They don't call me again. They don't call me for anything. And they have a kid. They have a daughter. Very young. Praise the Lord. And when he narrated your deed to me, I went to the Spirit. Holy Spirit, what would you do? And God gave me a prayer point. And by the virtue of the marriage, okay, now, in which they have engaged in, and by the virtue of the blood of his, of his daughter, we pray that the daughter will torment the grandma and the mother that she wants to see the father. He will not use, he will not do anything, he will torment it. The grandparents and then the, the mother. We prayed that prayer point. And we left. Came back to the jail. The following week, the woman came on her own. We brought the daughter to the United Kingdom to come and meet the father. Praise the Lord. And when the man said, This is your father, you have been crying for. Now, this is your father. The prayer was answered in the express way because it was called the King of the Holy Spirit. The daughter was crying, was tormenting the baby that I want to see my father. I want to see my father. But they brought her to the other kingdom to see her father. That's where she was addressed. Praise the Lord. Prayer point matters. What to say? Whenever you are passing through trouble, don't be dismissed. Just pray to the Holy Spirit. Give me the prayer point. Give me what to say. The Holy Spirit will direct you. And whatever you alter shall come to pass. I have to share this testimony. And somebody I have never met him before he was in the United Kingdom called me, he was having a problem. He was having a problem all over. He didn't get a job for five years. He was running from one place to another. And I prayed for him. Praise the Lord. I prayed for him. I saw in the spirit that was naked. He was in the graveyard, naked. And after that prayer, I told him, this is your prayer point to Lord, enclose me with garment of honor. And take me out of graveyard. Then that's your prayer point. Pray me for a week. Another week, he called me. 
that he has called him for an interview, which has never happened in the last three years. He said, God will go with you. God will make you to be accepted. After the outcome of the interview, God being said, he told me that there was a number two in that interview. That you can only get a job if the first person did not assume duty, not accept. Praise the Lord. When I went to the spirit, the spirit of God said, That is his job. That is his job. And I pray for him. I said, Lord, find another job for that man and give this job to us. Praise the Lord. The second day, the man was called, come and take up your job. We have called the first person, they didn't respond. Praise the Lord. So, this is your job. The man praised God, shared the testimony, he praised the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Now, for he applied for scholarship. When he applied, praise the Lord. When he applied, he called me that after the whole exercise was number three. And the scholarship is going to be given to two people. Amen. And he called me and said, Pastor, you are the one that prayed the other time. That the person, the prophet, did not take up the job. Kindly pray for me so that the two people in front of me will not take the scholarship. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said, Holy Spirit did not instruct me to pray like that. Just wait for what God will do for you. If this is not possible, another one will come, another one will come. Just count on God. God does not ask me to pray like that. Hallelujah. He closed the chapter. After two weeks, he called me. He said, Pastor, praise God. The Lord has done it. I've been given scholarship. He said, How did God do it? He said, The, the two people in front of him, they are come to join the European Union. Therefore, they have become members of the European and they are not entitled again to the scholarship because their patient is going to be free. So, the scholarship has been given to, to me. That is the essence of prayer points. You must pray in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will give you prayer points. When you give, when you give you prayer points of your home, if you give you prayer points of your home, your prayer is answered automatically. You are set free automatically. That is the reason why you must not pray in flesh. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why you must not copy prayer. Your prayer, how God will answer your prayer. It depends on how you answer your friend's prayer. Praise the Lord. Steps, let's look at step to spiritual prayer. Step to spiritual prayer. I want to pray spiritually. Number one, I will be in the spirit. You must put yourself in the spirit of God. You must forget flesh. You must forget physical things around you. You must forget your environment. Hallelujah. You must put yourself in the spirit. You must forgive whoever offended you. You must be holy. To put yourself in the spirit, you must be holy. You must set aside yourself. Hallelujah. You must be in spirit all when you want to pray. You are not speaking to take charge, to take control. Amen. You must allow your, your spirit to be in tune with the spirit of God. That is when you can commune perfectly with God. Number two, know your enemies. You must always try to know the enemy behind 
your matter. When some soldiers they want to fight war, they do some assignments, they, they have some duties to perform. They must know the number of soldiers they are fighting against. They must try as much as possible to know the number of soldiers they are fighting against. They must know their strength. They must know the type of uniform they are wearing. They must know the type of weapon they are using. If the weapon they are using is substantial one more than their own, they will not be able to win. They must know the type of uniform so that they can know them. They must know their locations. Where are they positioned? Amen. Where are they positioned? There is some equipment that can do that today. That can monitor the enemy's hiding place. You can monitor the, the stronghold of the enemies. There are some equipment like that today that can scan environment. I know whether enemies are hiding somewhere, whether enemies are dead or not. But in case of spirituality, especially of uh, prayer, it is only spirit that serve at that gadget. It is only spirit that serve at that gadget for us. Some soldiers, they send spies to the enemies of their enemies. They allow the enemies to catch them. They volunteer themselves. They allow the enemy to catch them, to take them to their camps. When they get to their camps, they gather information. They gather information. And the, 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 the troop of that spies, they want to conquer, they want to take that sort of spies back to them. They want some of those spies to be captured back so that they can relate, so that they can relate the information to them about their enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. During the time in Uganda when Israelis were captured by terrorists, they were taken to Uganda uh, airports. They put them there, they locked them up, and they were demanding something from Israeli Israel. Praise the Lord. But unfortunately for the terrorists, they release some people. They release them because they are not Israelis. So, when they release them, they went after those people that were released and they begin to gather information. How many terrorists are there? What type of weapon are they used? How are they operating? And those people that are released by us, after releasing the information, that the terrorists they do cheat. Some will be sleeping, and some will be on duty. I mean, this is the number of them, this is the type of gun they have. Praise the Lord. And this is what Israeli used to come and attack them. They know how they operate, they know their numbers. And they came from Israel to Ghana and they said the those people that are captured, they set them free and they killed all the terrorists because the information had been laid. They know the type of enemy they are fighting, they know their numbers. Hallelujah. Christian must also probe to the Holy Spirit. You must know your enemies. You must know who you are fighting for. Holy Spirit can reveal that. That was what said again in the Bible. The prophet was a man of God. Praise the Lord. He was telling his king that don't go to this place at this time because the Syrian soldiers are dead. Another day will call him, don't go to certain place. And then the Syrian said, Who is revealing this secret to our enemies? Somebody is here with me. He said, No, it's not anybody but the prophet of God. 
in Samaria in Israel is the one that is telling his king not to pass through the place. Whatever we are going to say to him, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You will get the Spirit of God. God can give you revelation. You can have a dream of your enemies. And when the Lord has put your enemies, you know how to take care of them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. How to do spiritual, time to spiritual prayer. Number three. Number three. You have to do in depth praise. In depth praise. You must be able to praise God. During the war, you will set up choir to be singing inside the war. And the angels of God will be fighting war on your behalf. And they will have victory. When you have the attitude of praising God, if you want to pray for one hour, praise God for 40 minutes. Sing for 40 minutes. Praise the Lord for 40 minutes. And your prayers will be answered. Your enemy will be defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are praising God, your focus will be on God. You will not be distracted. Nothing will distract you. Your mind will be on God. Your focus will be on God. Praise the Lord. And it's confuse your enemies. You set confusion into your enemy when you are praising God. Praise the Lord. One thing that devil cannot do is to praise God. Devil can pray. He can pray very well, but he will not praise the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number three, have protective weapon. Have protective protective weapon. A weapon that will protect you against the attack of the enemies. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 10 to 18, there are some things that the Bible mentioned here. It mentions the belt of truth. The belt of truth. When you wear the belt, the armor belt is a protective weapon. I think when you are saying the truth, always you are protected from the attack of the, of the devil. We talk about breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate on you. Protect your chest. Amen. Do not allow your enemy to attack you. Also, it mentioned fact of gospel of peace. Fact of gospel of peace. Amen. When you are preaching the gospel, you are empowered. I would say you may have all the sins and they will recover. A lot of people begin to happen when you when you when you evangelize, when you preach the gospel of God. Also mention shield of faith. She is also a protective weapon of faith. When you have faith, you have shield that will protect you. Also they mention element of salvation. You have to save, you have to be saved, to be to be protected against the attack of the Enemies. So you have to protect yourself with truth, with righteousness, with the preaching of the gospel, with faith and then salvation. That is all protective weapon. Amen. Just, you just go to the war without protecting yourself. A good soldier will all secure himself somewhere. A protective, a, a secure place before he will fight. They do a secure place, they will not fight. But the enemy attacked them, there was no place to save them. They will fall into the hand of the enemies. Praise the Lord. Number four, you have to have offensive weapon. Offensive weapon, they will to attack your enemies. You see that protective is more than the offensive. The only offensive weapon is the word of God. It's the Spirit. I would call it sword of the spirit. It is the word of God. You must have the word of God. You must be able to recite the word of God. You must be able to quote the Bible accordingly. You silence the enemy. You 
You see that when devil and Jesus Christ, they were fighting. Devil wanted to finish Jesus Christ. They were citing the Bible. It is written. It is written. It is written. That is the offensive weapon. The only offensive weapon that we have that you can use to defeat your enemies. Praise the Lord. Your enemy be defeated in the name of Jesus. The last one is all these things you combine with fasting. When you combine prayer with fasting, make it faster, make it stronger, make it more effective, make it to work fast. When you combine fasting, that is what Esther, we are, we are doing this one, that is what Esther did to change the decree of media and Pasha. The decree of media and Pasha, they are not always changing. It is always permanent, very effective, and law and decree. But the power of fasting and prayer changes. When they fasted, dry fast for three, three days. And Esther, the queen also prayed, and his people also prayed, and they changed their decree. And the structure that's supposed to come to them come over their enemies. Your enemy will be destroyed and never Jesus. Don't be looking for your destruction will be destroyed. Don't be looking for your death, they will die before you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will protect you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will bless you. Your prayers will be answered. Your prayer will be effective. In the name of Jesus. Let us rise up and pray. The Lord Almighty, teach me how to pray. Teach me how to pray this one. Teach me how to pray and let my prayer be effective. Oh, yeah, pray. Teach me how to pray this morning. Give me engine of prayer. Give me the spirit of prayer. Give me the garment of prayer this morning. And make my prayer to be effective, to be strong and effective in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning that you teach us how to pray in the name of Jesus. As we talk to your disciples to pray, teach us how to pray in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of prayer enter to us in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of prayer fall upon us in the name of Jesus. And make our prayer to be effective in the name of Jesus. Your prayer is helpful in the effective effort in the name of Jesus. Whatever you decree shall be decreed. Whatever you pass shall be passed. Whatever you do shall be used in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.